I had a master's last night. Mm -hmm. I had a reference last uh, tonight, you know, and, and every night I got a different kit, and that's always nice, you know. I'm, I'm shopping for drums that's well, <laughs> like doing the clinic, like, oh, I like this kit? Yeah, it's all right. We'll yeah, get yeah. one of these. Um, just quickly on the this whole you guys are doing the Monsters of Rock. Something. That's right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, what's, uh, can, can we expect to maybe visit out here? Often? Yeah, we're coming out in August. Right. Yeah. Um, I think we're doing about, actually, you know, you, you, when bands come out here, they usually do about like four, five cities, maybe. Yeah. I think we're doing about eight. So I think we're even covering places like Canberra and uh, a couple other, you know, off places. Maybe even Hay. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And what about, um, is there a physical thing you expect another installment of Death Pop? Or uh, is, that, is that on the cards? Or? Yeah. That was a huge, I mean, that to us um, next month. Yeah. It starts next week. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, no, what is this? As soon as I get back, yeah. Um, what are you expecting? Are you cool? Is that going to be like any other tour, or do you think it's going to be, is there any, is it going to be more planned like for it? Or is it just kind of, oh, you know, it's some totally, kind of yeah, uh, stage it. sort of? Set that no one's ever seen, or um, like only 12 places have seen the set because yeah. we've done a tour of 12, 12 places before, and uh, it's an awesome show. It's great. Yeah. You know, it's like you got a big giant screen behind us. Hopefully, we have a couple screens on the side, and it's got some really killer animation, and it's got comedy skits every few songs. You know, we take a little break. And, Face bones comes on and talks and explains a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. It's a fun show. You know, everybody that sees it, you know, just gets a good laugh out of it. Oh, yeah. And you have all those like super hardcore guys that are exactly like Nathan yeah. Explo yeah, Explosion, yeah, yeah. Yeah. not brutal enough. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. cartoon fucking band <laughs> headlining over real bands. Yeah. It's just like, dude, have some fun. Yeah. You know, if you don't, if you don't like it, fuck. Yeah. Uh, it's more metal than a lot of fucking bands, yeah. and I'm more metal than all you motherfuckers put <laughs> together. So you want to rag on them, suck it, <laughs> you know. A bit of the recording process. That must have been a lot of fun as well, like writing and, and coming to the whole thing. Yeah. Well, it was it was kind of, it was very hectic because um, actually you know I got more time in the studio doing that than I ever have any other project because usually I get two days in the studio half you know most of the first day is tone and most most albums it takes me about five hours to record so I usually get like one day to do ten tracks or yeah. thirteen tracks or whatever and that album we had uh, I think we did like twenty three tracks and all or something like yeah. that. And um, uh, Brendan would work on the songs the night before, and then he'd bring them in the next afternoon. I'd listen to two or three songs, learn them, track those songs, and the next night, you know, because the way it kind of works is uh, when when they're doing the episodes, the the, the artists or whatever, the, the animators will call them up and say, hey, we need 35 seconds of music, or we need, you know, a minute of music, or 45 seconds of music. And so he'll just like go on his drum machine, bash out something, play something to it, put some really quick vocals to it, and uh, turn it in. And that's really the only part of the song he's written. You know, like Mermaider, for instance. You know, that's all he had written is Mermaider, Mermaider, Mermaider. And, and, you know, and then, you know, the song just, we just kind of make it up as we go, you know, kind of. And, and uh, yeah, so it's really easy. Brendan's great to work with. He's yeah. awesome. He's a great dude. So. And you know we have Mike Keneally on guitar for the other for the live stuff. It was just the album was just me and Brendan. Um, but uh, you know Mike Keneally, you know he's a, he's a god. Yeah. Brian Beller, another god. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's really awesome. The, the band is so mellow. You know, like uh, you know me and Brandon are about the only metal guys. You know, so. <laughs> and what's the what's the um, like a normal procedure if there is one for say a, a band uh, comes to you and and. and um, once you play drums on the album, it's uh, obviously fresh for you. And, and uh, I mean, what's the procedure then? Is it something that you go in and obviously have to listen to some demos first, or do you go in and jam with them, or is it a case where you kind of figure it out by already knowing them and maybe you know meeting them on tour or something? It's it's all you know. It all depends on what the project is. You know, like I've, I'm pretty much like schedule wise, just butted yeah. up right up against each other. So. I've done about 10 or 12 albums over the past year, maybe like 13 even, and 
of which I've only got to rehearse two of those albums, like where I got like, and that was like ten days of rehearsal for for both, and uh, which is fine. You know, I've I've done plenty of records where it's like, okay, here's the songs. You know, you're playing them for the first time. The Death Clock album, for instance, there's there's an example that was, you know, that's the first time of me playing the song on that. You know, no rehearsal, just you know. I play a few passes of it just to kind of get to know it, and then it's like, okay, I start taking, you know. I do like four or five takes, and you just comp the best pieces together, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, that's that's more or less the way it works, you know. Like, uh, uh, it, it's always helpful if I get some some material in advance, you know, like send me a disc, and it's super helpful if they already have some like really rudimentary drum programming to it. Let me genize the rest, but at least I know where your snare is, and, you know, what sort of feel you want, and, and that always helps. But uh, usually the first process is is they go to their bank and they pull out ten grand. <laughs> For the rest of, of the year, I suppose we've got. Um, let me see. Right after this, we got the Death Clock thing, and right after that, we got a lot of Zimmer's whole stuff. And you know, like the rest of the year is a whole lot of Zimmer's whole shit. You know, which will be cool. Coming over here, doing a U.S. tour, and then uh, probably doing some European stuff over there. Uh, they're talking about, or Brendan mentioned about bringing Death Clock over here. Yep. Like maybe by the end of uh, maybe by the end of summer, you guys are summer or whatever. Or um, so by the middle, you know, by the first couple of months of 2009, possibly. And you know that'll be great. Yep. That'll be fun. And um, then uh, you know I get a day off in like December sometime. Yeah, I think. yeah. So awesome. yeah. what do you do to keep up the fight on the days off? I don't so get them. No, just I just don't get them. <laughs> really? I had a day off in uh, January, I think. <laughs> really? I think wow. yeah. yeah, it's pretty much, okay, finish the project, get out the next day, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, it's, it's nuts, but who cares, you know? I guess when you get used to that level of productivity, it's hard to kind of wind down, and you kind of, as soon as you get a bit of time off, you're probably looking for another project. Sure, yeah, I tend to go a little nuts. I'm, you know, I tell myself every year, because it's been pretty crazy for like the past, you know, 10, 12 years, really, and, you know, I tell myself, every, at the beginning of every year, all right, sometime this year, you're going to take a fucking week yeah, off, yeah. you're going to go somewhere, you turn the phones off, you know, and... That year hasn't happened yet, so <laughs> we'll get to it. I'm, I'm not worried about it. You know, it's like you can you can sit around picking your nose, or you can make some more music. You know, that's cool. oh, yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, yeah. So occupy my time by being creative and making music. So that's all right. You know? Awesome, cool, man. Thank you for your time, man. Appreciate it. Cool, man. Thank you. Have a good time. Fuck you, drum thumper.